Now I'm going to introduce you to a powerful concept that lets us reuse code across templates, reuse HTML code across various templates. Um, that's going to allow us to reduce the amount of boilerplate HTML we're writing within our templates. So this is the idea of template extension. So to create a template that I can extend or a base template, let me go to my templates directory and add a new file. I'm going to call it base.html because it's my base template, whatever you name it. Um, just, you know, as long as it's descriptive, you'll be, you'll be good. And here, I want to go ahead and put the boilerplate stuff that I've been adding to all of my templates. If we go to, say, our to-dos template they were just working with, most of this stuff in here is pretty boilerplate. Let's go ahead and, and copy, paste, and modify this much. I can put my closing body tag and my closing HTML tag. Uh, my title here, I'm going to wipe that out, and we'll kind of customize that in a minute. So all of this stuff up here is stuff we use in all of our files, okay? And so if you have code that's going to be reused across many templates, it's good to put that in a base template and then have that um, accessible and shareable to other templates via template extension. So let's look at how we can do that. So to extend this base template, I basically need to define um, blocks, or, or you might think of them as extension points. So let me go ahead and put one in the center. I know I'm, in each of these templates, the main place where I've customized them is with, between the body tags. So let's go ahead and define a block that I can then um, populate in my child template. Okay, so if I define a block, uh, I say use the keyword block and content, again, between curly brace ampersand, or sorry, curly brace percent sign, and uh, then, I, then I issue the end block. And this will be a location where I can now place code within child templates that extend this. So to do this, let's go to the todos.html, and I'm going to actually wipe all this out because we're going to get that for free from the, from the base template. I just need to specify at the top that I extend the base template. Okay, so that directive at the top says that this template should extend the base template. And let me go down and, and whack the, the boilerplate code down there. And now I basically want to say that the rest of this content, the stuff from here down to the bottom, should be inserted in the content block. So to do that, I can use the same syntax to define the content block as I did um, before. So Okay, so I'm basically just in the template extension. I'm just spe specifying the code that should go in these various extension points within the base. Okay, so let's see if that works. Uh, my application seems to be still running. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so that rendered. Let's go ahead and add some new items. And uh, that seems to, to all work just fine. So uh, we've basically just refactored. You know, when we say refactor, we mean um, improve or clean up or, or streamline the code base without adding or changing any behaviors. So we just refactored our code base to use a base template. And now this base template is shareable, and I can use it in any of my other templates, which also frequently have, surprise, surprise, boilerplate code. So I could come in and do the same trick I did within my to-dos template to define a block and also to specify that I am extending the base template. Um, so one more thing I want to show you is that you can actually use, uh, you, can, you can pass data into a base template that is then inserted the same way it would be in a normal template. So I can put something up here in my base template's uh, head element and between the title tags I can give it this, you know, double color base title and that says to Jinja, hey, insert, if you have anything named title, insert that right here. Okay, and so when I'm coming back over here and I want to render this, I can actually give this a title. Okay, and so even though I'm rendering the to-dos template, I can still pass data that will be inserted into the base template because to-dos extends the base and thus gets all of the functionality that it provides with it. So let's come back over here and notice my, my title in my browser tab isn't really equal to anything right now. If I refresh, well, let me go ahead and submit a new request. 
There we go. We notice that the title of my page changed. That's because this variable, this value titles in this parameter here was passed into the base template and rendered there. Okay, so um, that's how you can use, use uh, template extensions. Within a base template, you can define multiple extension points. You can put these all over the place. For, for example, you could put one up in the head that included um, a place where child templates could insert their own JavaScript or, or CSS or things like that. You could put a footer. You could use this to organize different sections of your layout depending on what you're doing. So it's pretty powerful. We'll put a link to the Jinja documentation and the references for this video. Um, but at the very least, you should um, get comfortable and use the basic functionality around template extensions.